Hi, hello, welcome to our channel Learn More Maths. Today we are going to solve problems from exercise 13.2. So this is 10th problem. So we have completed 1 to 9 problems in the previous videos. So this is 10th one. See here what he is asking to find us. A box contains 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90. If one disc is selected at random from the box, find the probability that it bears number 1 a 2 digit number, number 2 a perfect square number, number 3 a number divisible by 5. So he is saying that there are 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90 in a box. So if one one disk is selected at random from the box then what is the probability that it is a two digit number or second one that it is a perfect square number third one that it is a number divisible by five so oka box lo manaku okati nunchi 1 nunchi 90 varaku numbers raayabadinatuvanti 90 disks unnai box lo so, our box loan on the manam oka disk random go biotic this day. Our disk two digit number a probability and turn to not first to the so next in cocati ade box on the oka disk this day render the adi perfect square number a disk a probability and turn to not so next to third day. Adi 5 divide I at 20 number I at disk probability and turn to nado. So 1 by 1 to them. See here. Total number of disks in the box equal to 90. So how many disks are there in the box? Totally there are 90 disks in the box. Total number of possible outcomes in the experiment is also equal to 90. So since uh, total number of disks are 90. Total number of possible outcomes are 90. <clears throat> First one, a two digit number. So here number of two digit number disks equal to 81. So why they are? So 10, two digit numbers disks start from 10. So up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are one digit numbers from 10 Two digit number starts from 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, up to 89, 90, up to 90. So 10 to 90, how many will be? Totally 81. So 1 to 9 or 9. So subtract 90 from 9, we can get 81 or the two digit number disks. So these are the two digit number disks. So favorable outcomes to the Two digit number disk is 81 since there are 81 two digit number disks. So probability of a two digit number is denoted by P of a two digit number is equal to favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes. So here favorable outcomes are 81 by total number of possible outcomes are 90. So 9 is the common factor 9 9 sir 81 9 10 sir 90 we get 9 by 10. So now the probability that the disk is a two digit number is 9 by 10. So next second one a perfect square number. So see here. So see here a perfect square number. Therefore number of perfect square number disks equal to 9. So why they are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. So these 9 are perfect square number disks. So here 1 is 1 square, 4 is 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, 7 square, 8 square, 9 square. So totally there are 9 disks which are perfect square number disks. So favorable outcomes equal to 9 here. So see here. So here favorable outcomes for perfect square number is a 9. Since there are 9 perfect square number disks. So therefore if the probability of a perfect square number is denoted by P of a perfect square number is equal to favorable outcomes by total number of possible outcomes. So here favorable outcomes are 9. Total number of possible outcomes are 90. So it is 9 by 90. 9 by 90. 
so 9 is the common factor 9 ones and 9 tens it is equal to 1 by 10 so the probability that a perfect square number is is a 1 by 10 so next to third one a number divisible by 5 so see here third one so see here a number divisible by 5 so here number of disks which are divisible by 5 equal to 18 so what are they 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 so these number disks are divisible by 5 so how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 therefore favorable outcomes to the number divisible by 5 is 18 so if the probability of a number divisible by 5 is denoted by p of a number divisible by 5 is equal to favorable outcomes to the event a number divisible by 5 divided by total number of possible outcomes so here favorable outcomes are 18 divided by total number of possible outcomes are 90 so favorable outcomes are 18 total number of possible outcomes are 90 so 18 is the common factor 18 ones are 18 18 fives are 90 so we get 1 by 5 so this is the probability that the disk is a number divisible by 5 is 1 by 5 so like this we can find very easily so evidanga manam ichinatundi problem ni ardham cheskovali jagratha ga em adugutunnado raaskovali favorable outcomes anni total number of possible outcomes ennu raaskunte easy ga cheyadam vastundi so this is 10th problem so next we have to solve 11th problem so this is 11th problem in exercise 13.2 so see here what he is asking to find as a uh, suppose you drop a die at a random on the rectangular region shown in the figure what is the probability that it will land inside the circle with a diameter 1 meter so here he has given a rectangular region and uh, there is a circular region on the rectangular region so if we drop a die so what is the probability that the die will land on the circular region he is asking. So I can have a pattern lo chupin chinatlo okay rectangular region pina circular region. So draw chay bad on the so okay dine manam visirina pudu a die circular region lo land a probability and the circular region lo age at 20 probability and the antonado. So here generally we know so probability of an event e is equal to favorable outcomes to the event e divided by total number of possible outcomes so that is the general formula so here probability is equal to in this situation probability equal to so here favorable region is a circle lo ikkada ekkada manaku agina gaani adantha kuda manaku favorable region avutundi so it is nothing but area of the circle favorable region is nothing but area of the circle so total number of possible outcomes that is a total area is nothing but area of the rectangle so in this particular case uh, uh, here the required probability is equal to area of the circle area of the circle that is favorable region divided by area of the rectangle that is total region so this is the formula for probability here in this case so the diameter of the circle he has given this is 1 meter therefore radius equal to r is d by 2 that is 1 by 2 meter if the diameter is 1 meter then automatically radius is 1 by 2 meters so we know area of the circle is equal to pi r square so just we have to substitute pi is 22 by 7 or radius is 1 by 2 square is there that is 22 by 7 into 1 by 2 whole square let it is equation number 2 so from the figure it has given very clearly 3 meters this is length of the rectangular region and it is 2 meters this is breadth of the rectangular region so area of the rectangular region is equal to L into B length into breadth that is 3 into 2 6 meters square 
let it is equation number three so just we have to substitute area of the circle and area of the rectangle in equation one substituting equations two and three in equations one this is equation one therefore the required probability is equal to so area of the circle how much it is <coughs> substitute here So just I have substituted equations 2 and 3 in equation 1. So required probability equal to area of the circle is 22 by 7 into 1 by 2 whole square. 22 by 7 into 1 by 2 whole square I have written as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 divided by area of the rectangle is 6. So now just you have to simplify it. It is write 22 by 7 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So here divided by here it is 6 by 1. So if I write a product I have to write the reciprocal of 6 by 1 is 1 by 6. So for this divided by for this divided by I have written into. So here 6 by 1 is the reciprocal of 6 is 1 by 6. So now just cancel 2 1s and 2 11s are 22. So now multiply the numerators 11 into 1 into 1 into 1. So just it is 11 by 7 2s are 14. 14 6 are 84 so 11 84 11 by 84 11 by 84 is the required probability 7 2s are 14 14 6 are 84 and 11 so this is the required probability therefore the probability of the die that it will land inside the circle is 11 by 84 so this is 11th problem so next we have to solve 12th problem So this is 12th problem in exercise 13.2. See here what he is asking to find as a, a lot consists of 144 ball pens of which 20 are defective and the others are good. The shopkeeper draws one pen at random and gives it to Sudha. What is the probability that number one she will buy it, number two she will not buy it. So again it is same like as 8th and 9th problems in this exercise. So see here what he is asking here. There are 144 ball pens in the lot. So among 144, 20 pens are defective he is saying. Therefore the remaining pens are not defective or good pens. So see here uh, total number of pens in the lot equal to 144. Number of defective pens equal to 20 has given. Therefore, the number of not defective pens are good pens equal to 144 minus 20, which is 124. So, I could have lot low 144 pens on the end of 144 pens low, okay, 20 pens defective on the end of the low pump on the end of 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 the Konadaniki, Konaka, Povadaniki, probability and the Antonado. So I put Oxari Manam Mali 144 emo Motam Penulo 144. Total number of pens in the lot is 144. So defective pens equal to 20, therefore good pens equal to 124. Since there are 144 pens in the lot here, the total number of possible outcomes in this experiment is 144. Total number of possible outcomes equal to 144. So first one, what is the probability that uh, Sudha will buy the pen? So she will buy it. When she will buy it, the pen which is drawn by the shopkeeper is good pen. If the pen drawn by the shopkeeper is good pen, then only she will buy it. So Sudha, pen no, she will buy it. What is the probability that she will buy it? Ante, so the pen nu konadani ki probability anta antu nado. Mare so the pen nu apudu konto nde shopkeeper tis na twenty pen no good pen ante defect to kani pen na ina puru matra me konto nde. How na kada? So shopkeeper tis na twenty pen no good pen na ina puru so the konto nde. So how can we write see here? Here the probability that so the will buy the pen is equal to the probability that the pen drawn is a good pen. So, shopkeeper thi, 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 shopkeeper th
सो सुधा को प्राबिटी अंत सो हिर् फेवरबल अवटकम फर् गुड पेन इज ईक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी फोर सो दे फोर द प्राबिटी दट शी विल बै इट इज ईक्वल टू फेवरबल अवटकम्स डिवैडेड बै टोटल नंबर आफ पासीबल अवटकम्स सो हिर् फेवरबल अवटकम्स आर् वन ट्वेंटी फोर डिवैडेड बै टोटल नंबर आफ पासीबल अवटकम्स आर् वन फारटी फोर सो फोर इज ए कामन फैक्टर हियर फोर थ्री सार ट्वेल फोर वन सार फोर अगेन फोर थ्री सार ट्वेल ट्वेंटी फोर फोर सिक्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर सो हियर इट इज थर्टी वन बै थर्टी सिक्स सो दिश द प्राबिटी दट सुधा विल बै द पेन सो सुधा पेन को प्राबिटी एंत थर्टी वन बै थर्टी सिक्स सो नैक्स्ट सैकेंड वन शी वि नाट बै इट सो वे शी वि नाट बै इट इफ द पेन गी ड्रॉन बै द शाप कीपर इज नाट गुड पेन आर् डिफेक्टिव पेन शी वि नाट बै सो सी हियर हाउ कैन वी रईट so this is the second one she will not buy it so when she will not buy the pen if the pen drawn by the shopkeeper is a defective pen then she will not buy it so here see here the probability that uh, sudha will not buy the pen is equal to the probability that the pen drawn is a defective pen so ikkada sudha pen nu konakapovadaniki probability find out cheyam antunnadu mari sudha pen nu eppudu konadu ante shopkeeper teesina atvanti pen nu डिफेक्टिव पेन वो सुध पे को सो दट इट ईज सो हिर् फेवरबल अवटकम्स फर् डिफेक्ट पेन इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिंस देर आर् ट्वेंटी डिफेक्टिव पेन इन द लाट दे फो द प्राबिटी दट शी वि नाट बै इट इज ईक्वल टू फेवरबल अवटकम्स डिवैडेड बै टोटल नंबर आफ पासीबल अवटकम्स सो हिर् फेवरबल अवटकम्स आर् ट्वेंटी टोटल नंबर आफ पासीबल अवटकम्स आर् 144. So here four is the common factor. Uh, four fives are 20. Again four threes are 12. Four sixes are 24. So here the probability that she will not buy the pen is five uh, by 36. Five uh, by 36. So here the probability that she will buy the pen is 31 by 36, and the probability that she will not buy the pen is five by 36. Uh, here these two are the complementary events. Uh, If it is P of E, it will become P of not E. So we can find in another way also P of not E equal to one minus P of E. So we can get the answer, same answer. Okay. So this is the twelfth problem in exercise thirteen point two. In the next class, we will learn thirteenth problems. Thanks for watching.